Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets mid-afternoon update on the uh, Monday, the 22nd of August, 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of market reaction this morning, we have a mixed Asian session. You have the Shanghai down, the Australian markets down, the Hang Seng and the Nikkei certainly have booked the trend. Certainly higher, but not by much, okay? Your European markets uh, today, mid-afternoon, currently US session starting, the FTSE 100 down 0.5%, DAX is down 0.7%, and the French CAC down by 0.3%, and the Euro stocks is certainly weaker as well. Uh, US stocks certainly go opening up mixed, opening up to relatively weak on the back of uh, uh, falling commodity prices, a stronger dollar post Fisher's comments, and we have uh, the uh, positive comments with regards to uh, more QE, from the uh, Japanese uh, BOJ. Okay, now in terms of economic data today, nothing really of note, okay? Nothing really of note. We've had the Chicago Fed National Activity Index coming in slightly stronger, but again, nothing of any note, okay? The focus really remains on the US dollar index, so if I bring up the dollar index for you, bear with me. Okay, so you've got the US dollar index here, okay, folks, certainly coming off the uh, strength but the four hours certainly is indicating an inverted head and shoulders formation, so bear that in mind. You have an inverted head and shoulders formation that certainly wants to move higher. Okay, so looking to move higher and break out this downtrend. Okay, so a stronger dollar certainly is expected. And my key trade at the moment is a short the euro, or even I should say long the dollar. Okay, in terms of European equities, that will certainly help them. If the dollar certainly moves higher, the euro will start to move lower. Uh, the euro usd certainly has a bearish sell with the daily chart certainly into resistance yeah if you look at the four hour chart certainly a, a case can be made for a hns formation potential top and looking for a reversal so looking for a lower high here folks okay before we start to move lower okay looking at the 60 minute chart we had this hns formation potential retest of the neckline and then looking to obviously uh, break lower here okay so certainly looking for bearish bias on the euro which in turn should help the european indices so moving on to the german dax here folks you can see that uh, let's bring up the daily chart first and foremost so holding previous resistance equals support key uh, support zone 60 minute chart building a well certainly hitting the potential 200 ma uh, support zone below okay on the german dax certainly has been very volatile intraday hitting a pivot high of 18 well 10 6 <clears throat> 60 before it actually gave up all the gains and is now back down to 10,440. So 220 point drop today, very, very impressive on the German DAX. But all eyes on the uh, 60 minute chart with the 200 MA support. If we do start to drop lower, you certainly have support around the 10,420. Okay, but having said that, 10,460, some uh, temporary support here as well. Uh, previous resistance equals support. So certainly bear that in mind, okay? Let's move on to the uh, actual French CAC now. French CAC certainly is in a more relatively more uh, solid uh, base, okay? It has more of a solid base with support seen here around the uh, 4370 zone, 4380 zone. As you can see in the 10 minute chart, 60 minute chart, again, potential intraday or should we say dual bottom scenario, okay? Let's say looking for a double bottom scenario. 10 minute chart, again, again certainly is illustrate the potential support zone. And the daily chart certainly illustrates with a potential uh, unfilled gap below. At 4350, that may well need to close as well. So just be open to that, okay? Certainly be open to that. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's bring up the FTSE 100 chart for you again, testing the potential double bottom at support pivot S3, okay? Bear that in mind on the 10 minute chart, 60 minute chart, certainly uh, testing the key zone of support down here, which is uh, seen at pivot S3, which is uh, 6810, okay? So 6810, watch out for that zone. Previous resistance equals support here as well. If you break 6810, then you're looking at 6790, folks. That's your potential next area of support. Certainly looking to uh, hold, okay? So certainly keep an eye on that zone as well on the FTSE 100. Now, the daily chart, again, your previous resistance equals support is at 6780, so bear that in mind as well, okay? Certainly an argument to uh, potentially move higher. So certainly look, keep an eye on the FTSE 100. Again, the FTSE has been weak relatively due to commodities. Copper is certainly down today. Uh, oil is certainly down back down to the 47 49 okay uh, and again gold is certainly under pressure as well along with the uh, aussie and kiwi overnight to a large extent okay uh, but having said that china was um, certainly uh, weaker overnight as well so again certainly exerting pressure on the FTSE. although i am looking for stabilization here with the backdrop of qe ever so present okay for now 
I think that's a market wrap, folks. Okay, uh, U.S. markets obviously are dictating now, so they'll certainly take over. In terms of U.S. markets, we are now coming into support. The Nasdaq certainly is holding the support at 4790. You have the unfilled gap at 4682526, uh, and obviously we missed our base promise for more QE. That certainly will be potentially a bit higher. Having said that, the um, 100 level certainly is still holding as well in the USD JPY. S&P 500 chart, we had that pivot low support at 2175, certainly holding for now. Unfilled gap remains at 2186. And the unfilled gap remains at 2194. So those are two target areas as well, target zones to watch out for. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly take advantage of that 25% bonus. Go